Well, as many years ago, I was an undergraduate student. In my junior year, I took an art course, and I loved it. I had been an English and history major. And as it turned out, I ended up dropping my history major and ended up with a double major in art and English. And just the idea of uh, being able to, you know, to deal with my feelings and, and my expression and my artwork, to uh, put something on paper or form something in clay, uh, like it was a direct kind of expression of of who I really was and it had been suppressed for quite a while because I hadn't had the opportunity to uh, to explore it so it was really a wonderful kind of bursting forward of, of something that I had really missed but I didn't really know what it was that I had missed until I got there you know I taught it for many years, and uh, I taught at Virginia Commonwealth University in Richmond, and I also taught at University of Minnesota at Duluth. And uh, now that I'm retired from university teaching, I uh, conduct workshops all over in the U.S., Canada, and Europe. The desert, I've lived here now full-time for 15 years, and uh, this is home. You know, I really love the desert. Uh, it, it feeds me in many ways. You know, the, uh, the sunshine and warmth are so nurturing after living in Minnesota for so long. Mm -hmm. And um, I particularly am fascinated by the desert flora. So a lot of the pieces I do, have, uh, in my opinion anyway, have a reference to desert flora. Um, the way I build using the pinch method, just taking dabs of clay and slowly building up a form, it's a very kind of quiet, meditative process, and I, I, I like that a lot, and that particular process also affords me um, great control over the form, and I also enjoy seeing something become a reality, you know, and also a lot of my pieces are interacting pieces, and Sometimes it's not always easy to pull that off. Um, you know, so it's a combination of thinking about the piece and uh, or even uh, kind of meditating or listening to public radio. You know.